Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News, and I'm Drew Bork, and this is going to be a video on the Phantoms making three moves in addition to the ghostly take and royal take combined, since this one affects the Reading Royals in two ways, actually, because Alex Doust from the Trois Riviere Lions was brought up to the Phantoms, and he's going to be playing for the Phantoms from the TR Lions, so obviously he ain't going to be active against the Reading Royals. And Brad Morrison, who was signed to one of those AHL contracts where he could get sent down, of course, to the Reading Royals due to his stellar play. Obviously, he had the five-point game yesterday. They took notice of that. He's now called up uh, to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, <clears throat> as well as uh, Mason Millman got called up after having a fantastic game uh, yesterday. Mason Millman uh, got called up back to the Lehigh Valley Phantom. So all of those guys deservingly so. Millman was playing great with the Reading Royals. Obviously had a great power play goal yesterday, but was really just dis instinctively making the great first play, as Kirk McDonald alluded to. He's so great when he does that. I'm um, in the press conference on Tuesday after the Adirondack game, and that's what he was doing. So he uh, earned that call up for sure. Alex Alexis Dallas, I should say, not Alex Alexis Dallas, um, from Trois Rivieres led their team with 15 goals while also getting 15 assists, um, and he's played 111 career AHL games, so he obviously has the experience and was owning the ECHL with TR, so now they're going to be down their top player, uh, so that's going to help the Reading Royals, what's not going to help the Reading Royals is one of the best um, all around and definitely offensive force defensemen in Mason Millman is going to be gone, and the, one of the best players in the ECHL this season, uh, Brad Morrison, is going to be up with the Lehigh Valley Phantom. Congratulations to them, obviously, uh, to be able to get up. They earned it, and I think they're going to all do well with the Phantoms because Dallas has experience in the AHL. Mason Millman already played well in the AHL when Redding wasn't playing last year, and then he went down to Redding to, um, and played great this year, and now he's back up. And Brad Morrison, um, he's going to get a chance here, and I think he's going to end up <clears throat> playing pretty well because he he has 56 career games in the ECHL, and this year he really took off, so he deserves this call-up, and I think he will play really well for the Phantoms, but that's been an update on transactions. The other one is Jackson Cates is playing right now at Little Caesars Arena with the uh, Philadelphia Flyers as he was called up to the Philadelphia Flyers. That's the last one. Cates is back up with the Flyers, um, and that's what um, allowed Brad Morrison and Alexis Dows to then come up to the Phantoms. Both, I think, will be able to, one of them, I predict, will definitely become an impact player for the team, but I think both have a chance to become impact offensive players. And then Mason Millman, we've already seen become an impact defenseman last season when the Reading Royals weren't playing. So these are all great moves for these three players um, in terms of getting called up to the Phantoms and obviously in terms of a fourth when it comes to Jackson Cates getting awarded again for his play with the Phantoms to get called up to the Philadelphia Flyers. It's sad for the Reading Royals to lose the town, but they do have other guys like Gagnon and others that they can put in the lineup. That's why they're so good. The depth on that team is ridiculous. So they're going to miss these guys. It's hard to obviously figure out how to um, replace these guys, but they also have guys like Cam Strong, Braden Lowe, coming back from injuries soon. So that will definitely help from the Royals' perspective. But I hope you all enjoyed this video on quick organizational roster updates. Have a great day and pleasant day, everybody. Please don't subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep its growing to 200 by the end of February. Enjoy the hockey, everyone.